Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while. I have uh, I've been slacking a bit lately with these reactions and all my other content. It's it's been Christmas in between Christmas and New Year's. It's just it's just crazy, you know. Life gets to you, and plus I have a full time job, so this I only do this when I can, and I I'm gonna make sure to try to put out way more content. You can believe that in 2021, but as of now, up till New Year's, it might be a uh, might be a little less than usual. But I'm still continuing my death uh, album symbolic with Misanthrope. Misanthrope. This is a uh, track number eight, and this was also requested by Food Freaks for this individual song alone. So uh, here's your request. And uh, yeah, like I said, I have a lot of things planned for 2021. It's just 2020 uh, has been crazy, and hopefully this new year we we start off on a better foot than 2020, the worst year on record, I believe, at least since like the World Wars. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into this, guys. Miss Anthrope. Make sure to like and subscribe to continue this journey with me, too. speedy one eh and misanthrope i heard that word so many times and i never actually knew what it meant i had to look it up and apparently it's someone just who hates mankind i guess or or uh distance themselves from uh from society and they just hate people i guess or something like that is what i read so uh yeah i just want to let you guys know about that the definition the kind is done A view from those who stood high And breathe the Them double foot pedals just kicked in there? Awesome. I've, I've learned throughout this journey that uh, I, I still like death when they're going super fast and crazy, but I, I'm actually much more preferred than when they're melodic and slower. Not super slow, not like doom metal or nothing, but like this section here, uh, it's cool. Even though I like the fast versions too, like I'm a thrash head, so obviously I, I'm, I love fast things too. But even in thrash metal, when they slow down and catch a, catch a crazy hook or a little riff there, it's, it's amazing. When that part would kick in, I would have some fun in a mosh pit. I'd probably get hurt, but I'd have some fun. <laughs> I've been in some crazy ones before. I'm surprised that I survived. But, man, I, I just love it. It's almost like, <laughs> I hate to say gangster feel, but, you know, it's just, it's just badass, that slower part. We're going back to it. curious to i see that there's a uh, instrumental versions of these songs i'm pretty sure i've seen that no it, it would totally change certain uh, sections right with, with his because his voice uh, puts the death in, into this music because a lot of times it's there's a lot of harmony and it's very melodic and uh, you just take a section out of the song like not that badass part that was like a what i want my theme song to be when i walk down the street but before that there was like a 
the first part I said that was slower. Like you could, you could easily play that on its own in an instrumental version, and it would it would totally change someone's perspective on this band. And some people I think would have to hear this instrumental wise first. The the people who just don't like these type of vocals. Me, I don't mind because I I listen to all types of uh, metal or music in general. So. effect he's using on that background guitar i almost called the airplane effect and the just the sound it makes anyway it's a uh, yeah it's just cool and the lyrics i'm not sure like like i said the song's about people some something or someone who hates mankind or hates society and it keeps saying from up above on their higher it maybe it's talking about i was thinking either like a god or aliens I could be completely wrong. Maybe they're just talking about like up as in at the top of society too in the pyramid scheme, you know, the very tippy top controlling everything, which would make sense too. And a lot of these songs too are about, about society and just like life in general. I found anyway, some it's, it's symbolic <laughs> to life, this album. It's interesting to decipher. I'd have to go online and really find out what the interpretation of this is but you can interpret it any way you want you don't have to go by what the band says it is you can just like a movie you can interpret something on your own totally different and that's okay but as of now i'm, I'm leaning more towards the aliens for some reason <laughs> i'm probably wrong This is the way to do your fast parts. Mix them in, blend them in with the slower parts. Don't just have the whole song at high speed unless you're having your one song like that. It's meant to be like that. But if your whole CD is like that, a lot of it is just going to pass you by. You uh, you have to, when you're constructing music, and they knew it, you have to spread out everything. Your melodies, your heaviness, your, you know. You can make it all sound heavy, but you can still keep it melodic. And, and these guys are also technical and progressive at the same time on top of the thrash and death metal badass solo we just heard and uh even the solo didn't go all out crazy it was more in the melodic sense slower a little bit but the background was right up straight up thrash thrash deck stay where you are don't get consumed by what they created from sheer neglect a view from those who stood high and breathed the sky and they're talking about like choosing certain ones and from what i'm picking up like i said it could be aliens i'm thinking aliens i'm probably wrong it's probably gods or like i said the only other option i can think of is like higher up like the politicians and the like higher up than that you know people running the world but i don't think they're human myself Maybe they are. An opinion from 
An opinion from below and from above. That makes me think of religion again. Like it could be talking about gods. Some were decided. Some were not. They feel the way. But not for God. I was just about to say, I hope they bring back that badass part. This I call this part my my new theme song for walking down the street in, in town, you know? We're restarting that bitch. Hey, but not for God. Here we go. I love how it just kept building after that. I'm, I'm going to call it the gangster part because I know your metalheads are probably going to hate me for this, even though I'm a metalhead, but your metal elitist, I should say, will probably hate this. But just that riff, that da 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 like, it just sounded badass. It, uh, and for some reason, it reminds me of, like, a, the gangster walk. But besides that, that, that was definitely the highlight of the song for me. I loved that part, but the whole song was great. I'm in on a on a hot streak lately well this whole album really surprising enough i think my least favorite song was symbolic itself the title track but everything else from 1009s without judgment crystal mountain this one misanthrope i still got perennial quest next which was a uh, highly requested too and it's an instrumental which uh it's the only one I think on this album yeah that's, I never did any instrumentals yet so that's interesting I see what they got uh, when they're not singing but uh yeah just they they just been killing it uh, zero tolerance was another one of my favorites it, it'd be hard to choose a top three from this album this one might have made it I'm not sure between this one and Crystal Mountain but without judgment and zero tolerance definitely made it and from what, from what I'm hearing, Perennial Quest could make it too. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give this song a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 sounds good to me for now. Uh, I can't wait to... I've already been going back and re-listening to some of the songs I reacted to on this album. And man, the second third times are even better. The first time, it's hard to take it all in, guys. So uh, excuse me if I'm not picking up on everything when I'm reacting. But sorry, it's, that's a reaction. But that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I am coming back with the last track, Perennial Quest, very soon. And uh, hopefully we have a better year coming up here. We're at the end of the road. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Adios.